719, and it's time to talk about some healthy living. And we have in our ABC studio with us from Crunch Fitness, yes. Stephanie Perry. Stephanie, thank you so much for waking Morning. up early with thank us. Thank you guys. Uh, you've got some stuff here to I know, I'm kind of concerned what this is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, today we're going to talk about, um, I'm gonna, I picked like three simple exercises that people usually do when they start at the gym, or not even when they start, every time they work out. Okay. Um, and go through some of the right ways to do them and the wrong ways to do them. Perfect. So the three exercises I chose today was an overhead press, um, bicep curls, and a push-up. So okay. really basic exercises, but exercises that you see people doing but wrong I think all those the are, time. Like you said, they're all things whether you're kind of going to the gym yourself, you're like, oh, I don't know if I'm doing this right. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to like look in the mirror and kind of navigate yourself. So right, right. Awesome. Can't wait. So the first one we're going to do is an overhead press. We're going to use the PVC pipe instead of a barbell. It was just easier okay. for me to bring this yeah. in instead of the barbell. <laughs> okay. All I mean, right. That's usually what I lift at the gym is a PVC <laughs> pipe. So. <laughs> <laughs> Got to start somewhere. Um, so a lot of the times with an overhead press, you'll see people kind of bending their knees and throwing the bar up in the air, okay. arching their back when they're bringing it up. Um, that looks like me. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to do any of those things. Okay. Um, that's really hard on your back. Um, when you use your legs and you press up, that's a push press. That's not an overhead press. An overhead press is supposed to be very strict. Mm. Um, another thing is your wrists. A lot of people will bend their wrists back and have their elbows out. Okay. You don't want to do that either. So you want to have a really straight wrist. Your hands are going to be right outside your shoulders, mm -hmm. and your bar will sit almost right on top of your chest. Okay. So before you perform the, the press, you want to make sure that your feet are about hip width, hip to shoulder width apart. Mm -hmm. You kind of want to use your feet and your toes to ground you. So you're kind of gripping the ground with your feet, squeezing your butt, tight core just like everything else, and you're going to press up over your head lock your elbows out and almost do a little shrug to your shoulders when you get to the top. This is gonna protect your, um, this will protect your shoulders. Okay. And then just slowly right back down and then you're gonna press up again. Try not to let your elbows flare out to the side. Everything's gonna be in a straight line. That looks impressive. That's good form. Yeah, That's thank good you. form. <laughs> yeah. And everything that she was talking about when people are doing it wrong, that's why my back always hurts and I'm not mm -hmm. muscular. So I need, I, now I can start doing it right, though. Yes, doing it right makes all the difference in the world. Um, you work the right, uh, the right muscles, mm -hmm. and uh, you're actually getting something out of your workout. I was going to say, there's no point in going to the gym if you're not getting anything out of it. Right, you know? right, right. So waste of time. And uh, the next thing we're going to do is the bicep curls. So a lot of people, when they do bicep curls, um, they use their body as momentum to kind of swing them okay. back and forth <laughs> to lift those weights. I've um, seen that at the gym. Yes, sure. I see a lot of people doing that. Usually the weights are too heavy. Yeah. Um, for your bicep curl, the same thing. You want your feet about hip to shoulder width apart, shoulders back, tight core, arms fully extended by your side, and you're going to curl all the way up and then all the way back down. You keeping want your, your body, elbows tucked in? You want to keep your okay. elbows nice and close to your side, yes. Um, so a nice tight core and butt is going to help you from doing that sway that okay. we do when we lift these, uh, when we lift heavy weights. So just up nice and slow. Some curls for the girls. And that's right. <laughs> Down nice and slow. Well, and I feel like a big part of this, too, is making sure that you're using the weights that you are comfortable with. Because some people, they really try right. to do too much, and that can definitely impact your form as well. Absolutely. If you try to do anything with weights that are too heavy, you're going to injure yourself. Mm -hmm. um, your form, you're not going to be able to keep a good form. Uh, if you're pressing too much weight over your head, you're going to have to swing yourself back. You're not going to be able to have your arms and your hands in the right positions. Um, so it's really important to make sure that you're using weight that is comfortable for you. Well, how do you know what's a good middle ground? Because obviously, you want to go to the gym to get stronger. So you want something that's kind of pushing your limits. You definitely want to push it a little bit. So you want things to be a little heavy, challenging, but okay. not where you really have to struggle or really have to break okay. your form. If you have to break form, the weight's too heavy. So drop down to a lower weight. Um, try that. If you can keep your form, then you're at the right weight. Perfect. And we have one last one. So the push-up, <laughs> we've done push-ups here a few times. Um, so when people do push-ups, they tend to have a really wide, it's okay to have your hands a little bit wide, but you don't want your elbows out. So a lot of people will put their elbows out and do a push-up like this. Um, you never want your elbows to flare out at the side. Okay. Um, really hard on your shoulders, really hard on all of your joints. Um, the other thing that people do is kind of do a push-up like this. Uh, huh. uh, yeah. Like that, yeah. you don't want to do it like that. You want your body nice and straight, so your hands are going to be right outside your shoulders. Let's see that perfect form. <laughs> Hopefully we can do it this morning. You got it. Um, you're going <laughs> to open your fingers really wide, kind of grab onto the floor. Get yourself up into a plank position. You're going to squeeze your butt. You're going to squeeze your core. You're going to lower yourself down, keeping your elbows in and pushing yourself back up. Perfect. 
Excellent. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll these, are, doing <laughs> these are these are all great tips that uh, that you can use at the gym next time you go. And if you would like to get more fitness tips from Stephanie or another expert, you can visit Crunch Fitness located in Fort Myers, Benita Springs, and Naples. Stephanie, thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. Really thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. At least we, we didn't have to do any push-ups. I was like, yeah. getting nervous. I, was I saw Mackenzie didn't wear pants today. I'm I like, know. ah, she's uh -huh. scared again. <laughs> and nobody wants to see me doing push-ups, in a suit especially. That could go very wrong.